Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be making cornbread in the air fryer. And we're just gonna be using the basic Jiffy uh, cornbread mix. This is usually what we make all the time in the oven, but today we're going to be making it in the air fryer. And we are going to be using the cake barrel to make it in. So this is one of the things that I've made other things in, and I have this listed down below in the description for the accessory kit that you can purchase. And then it comes with different things in that kit also but today we're just gonna go ahead and make some cornbread if you guys want leave down in the description what you eat cornbread with do you eat it with like honey do you eat it with chili or you know like chicken or meals do you do you ever make it have you ever tried it for me I like it with chili and my husband likes to have honey on top so today we are going to just add some honey on top I did want to make chili in my Instapot but it just didn't work out today so we're gonna just make the cornbread and then top it with some honey so you're just gonna empty it in there and it asks for one third cup milk, so I'm gonna add that, and then one egg. So make sure you mix that really well. And if mine is a little bit different in color, that's because with farm fresh eggs, they're a little bit more vibrant. So if you're just using store eggs, it might just show up a little bit different, a little lighter in color, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and just spray down my um, pan just like that. I'm going to pour in my cornbread. And then just go ahead and place that right in your air fryer. And this cake barrel pan is a pretty much like a typical size that you can use in most air fryers. Just when you're checking out the kit in this one, I got it from Amazon, but when you're checking it out, just make sure that it fits your standard size air fryer. I think mine is a seven quart air fryer. I can't remember, but I think that's what this one is. So you're gonna go ahead and put the temp down to 310 degrees and mine automatically goes to 15 minutes when it starts. So we're gonna do 15 minutes, we're gonna check it and then if it's still not cooked all the way through, then um, I'm gonna cook it for another five minutes. But you're gonna want it to be like a golden brown on top and then you'll kind of know that it is finished but I'm gonna go ahead and check it when it's done and then cook it a little bit longer if I, it needs to be. So I'm gonna let this cook and I'm gonna come back and we'll check on it. It is not cooked all the way through. So it looks like this on top, but in the inside, it's not finished yet. So I'm gonna cook it for maybe like two more minutes and see if that cooks it all the way through. So I'm gonna put it back to 310 and, or whoops. And I'm gonna bring it down to three more minutes and then I'll come back and check on it. Okay, so the cornbread is done and I did have to fully cook it for five more extra minutes just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. So I'm gonna show you up close what it looks like. So that's what it's gonna look like when you guys are finished. Don't worry about it being golden brown on top. Usually that's how it is when you cook um, cornbread. Anyways, I'm gonna cut this up and put this on the plate quick. And then I'm just gonna put some honey right on top. 
right, so there you go. That's what it looks like when it's finished. Um, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you guys end up trying to make this. Let me know if it turns out for you guys. And hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.